Welcome guys. I am back with another video. I gotta say, I am so proud of myself because it has been a challenge of mine to get more comfortable in front of the camera and talk to you guys and share just kind of some of my productivity hacks and tips and just kind of what I do to stay productive and or organized with this entrepreneur life that I'm living. So I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying what I have so far, but today I am starting a whole new kind of set of videos that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna be starting a first impressions series. The first platform that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is Notion. So a little bit of backstory, if you guys have checked out my channel, you know that I am a diehard Evernote and Todoist user. I've been using these two platforms for my productivity, goal setting, and almost everything um, aside from my digital planner. I've been using these two platforms for at least two, three years now and I just felt like recently that it was kind of time for a change. I wanted to see what else was out there. There were some things that those two platforms weren't solving for me as far as my productivity goes. So I just wanted to see what other people were using, if there's a better option for me out there. And I thought that I would take you along this journey of trying to figure out what works best for me so that hopefully this will be useful for you. I actually decided to start with the platform Notion. I actually heard about it from my fellow YouTuber friend, Francesco D'Alessio. I will link his YouTube channel and the video I personally watched down below. He has a great channel. He does a lot of reviews and overviews on productivity apps so make sure to check him out but for me I wanted to share my perspective on an entrepreneurial standpoint and just share with you what my personal pros and cons were especially in comparison to Evernote and Todoist and see if there's just something better out there so let's get into the video I have more of these first impressions coming so make sure you stay tuned okay so Let's first get into what Notion is. So Notion calls itself the all-in-one workplace, and it allows you to create notes and documents, spreadsheets, CRM databases. It helps you manage tasks and projects. It's really, really versatile. So when you get into registering for an account, you can use your Gmail account, um, and it's really quick and easy to set up. It takes you to this page. So it does a really, really good job about getting you set up and understanding the platform, how to use it, um, what you can use it for, just on the surface level to give you an idea. And it you pick it up really quickly and easily just by starting with these template pages that they've created for you. So they have a getting started page, which um, helps you with understanding how certain features work, how to um, drag and move things around, how to create shortcuts, sub pages, descriptions, and all of that. And then it also shows you a few templates that they have. So they have meeting notes, they have um, a personal home, which I integrated for my account, um, lightweight to-dos, they have different templates that you can use, for example, a quick note, a blog post, um, all kinds of things on this right side that can kind of get you started and then you can customize them based on your needs very, very easily, which is one of the huge perks. Uh, when I first started using it um, a couple months ago, it was just start and then integrate and I felt like we were getting things up and running pretty quickly. So. Let me show you what my account looks like, just because I wanted to show you how I personally used it. So, if I go into Notion, they have a desktop app that you can use, and you also have an iPhone or a, um, an iOS app that you can use for both your phone and your iPad, which is great, and they integrate and sync very quickly. But when you log in, this is the page that I've favorited so that when I open up this app, this is the first thing I see. And since I plan my life around weeks, 
uh, this is basically my week at a glance. And I love that I can do that, and I love that it's graphic. I have a cover page here that you can either, you know, pick colors or, you know, choose photos that they have or upload something just like I did um, or just link a photo from a website, which is really great. So you can do this, and then they have another way to make it graphic is using an emoji to just kind of help you graphically see what's what. And then I created this just by creating a blank template um, from the personal home, or I'm sorry, yeah, the personal home template that you see here. I just used that and I customized it so that it worked for me. So I have a personal section, I have a Ninong section, Just Kissa, and other things that I have going on. And then the, this takes me to the shared uh, space. So this no one else can see but me if, unless I wanted to share it with someone. But if I click on Ninongs, for example, it'll take me to a workspace. And this workspace is shared between whomever you want. So for me, I have an assistant, my friend Katie, and she helped me create this um, home base for Ninongs that has all kinds of things like our office calendar to make sure we know which holidays we're going to be open or closed or if we have any upcoming events those are all in the office calendar we have an operations template that has um, spreadsheets and schedules and we took these templates straight from what Notion provided for us and then more information here just kind of pricing stuff and I love that it's all in one place because then she can see it I can see it and we don't have to be doubling up our work if someone created a document that is needed by the whole team or both of us we can both see it and we don't have to both create that document the main thing I really loved about using using notion I have to go into the blank account because my free trial is completely maxed on notion actually now that we're here and talking about it I want to talk about the pricing plans, but um, my impression on the pricing plans, I'm not in love with. Um, they have a free version, which I'm using, and then the personal, which is $4 per month. And I, I because I'm sharing it with Katie, have to upgrade to the team um, membership, which is $8 per member per month, which means for me and for Katie would be $16. Um, it's pricey. That's on the pricey side for me personally. I would be okay with $4 a month. I think that's a great deal. $48 a year isn't much. So I think that, you know, paying $16 a month and then adding if you need to add members is kind of on the pricey side. One thing that I do have to test out since this is a first impressions video is I do have to test and see if I removed um, the members from my account and then just had her as an independent account if I would actually be able to share certain documents maybe not necessarily all my workspaces but that's something that I have to look look into if you are using Notion and know about this please do let me know in the comments um, because I I actually really do like this platform but I've kind of exceeded what I can do with the free trial so Anyway, so getting back to it, um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. And so there's really easy ways to do this. You can do it from a template, which we're going to do, or you can just go and import something. Um, you can import from Trello. You can import from Evernote. You can import from different places. And it gives you an option of what you can create. Or, like I said, you can go into templates and you can just kind of browse through and see which is closest to what you want to create. So there's everything from boards down to to-do lists all the way to CRM. It's really, really great and really, really easy to use. Once I pick the template that I want, I just hit use this template. It integrates it and then you can customize and change things so easily and so quickly. It's 
just kind of plug and play, like I said. What I personally use it for, I'll show you just three things that I use Notion for. I use it for a lot more than that, but the main things I use it for is, one, I use it for blog scheduling. So here is my blog schedule. And I was using Trello in the past. I was able to import this directly from Trello and created a completely new copy. And I was able to just implement and go, which was awesome. I didn't have to create a new template for myself in Notion. It was just import and go. Even my tags, even my labels, due dates, everything, um, even the colors that I use was imported directly into Notion and it was ready to go. So this is one thing I use Notion for. Another thing I use it for is documentation. We use this for Ninongs. We use it for pretty much everything. Like I said, we have our office calendar and I love that I'm able to just use it instead of my personal calendar. These are all pending things that are either all day that I need to know about or if we have a cake order like you see here on December 10th or we have December nights, um, which is a pop-up event in San Diego and we're able to plan everything within these, within this calendar. I love that I don't have to put it into my personal because there are certain details that need to be known for me personally. Like for December nights, for example, it is from December 7th to 8th, but we're going to be in San Diego from December 6th to 9th. And so in my personal calendar, I'm going to be putting it into, inputting it from the 6th to the 9th, but for the office to know, the event is actually on the 7th and the 8th. So Things like that and being able to keep my calendars kind of separate is really great. And it's also easy for everyone to see um, and interact with in real time. So that's awesome. And then the third main thing that I use it for is writing my blog posts. So one of the gripes that I had about Evernote was that when I would type my blog posts into Evernote, when I would copy and paste into WordPress, it would copy and paste the HTML that was programmed into Evernote as well. And all I wanted was just a place where I can type. I didn't need the HTML and all the bells and whistles and things like that. And um, when I write here in Notion, it is so easy to be able to um, write and then just copy and paste, which is what I use Evernote for. I don't try and create full-on blog posts with all the images and everything in there in order. Um, I like to just type it out and then finish off in WordPress and so this was a great way for me to just easily select all, copy, paste into WordPress and post um, compared to Evernote where I would have to select all from Evernote, copy it, paste it into WordPress and then remove all the HTML that went with it. So it would take me, you know, an extra 10-15 minutes and then put in my photos and then get it going. So I did like that. It was just very bare bones and easy to integrate into the way that I personally work. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about the pros and cons of Notion. So definitely the pros, it allows me to integrate platforms I need and put it into one place. Things like Trello, Google Drive, um, spreadsheets, things like that. I can just stay in Notion and, and use it. It's extremely collaborative. I can see updates that Katie does in real time. She can immediately see the edits that I make. There's no refreshing that needs to be done really easy. Um, there are also spreadsheets built in and the spreadsheets that come with Notion are nice and they're very graphic so it's not your typical Excel looking spreadsheet like it actually looks nice and still has the same functions. It has iOS apps so I have all my notes at my fingertips anytime I need it. It's easily customizable with a simple layout. It's really easy to just start using it without having to study or learn how to use it. It has really great simple templates that you can integrate and and customize for yourself and it's great for writing and managing blog posts. Now the few cons that I have, the main thing is the pricing, but as you can see if I tried to 
click on this and add something new, it'll tell me that I am over the block limit for my free plan. And basically each line here is a block. So I've used, I think the free version gets a thousand and I've used my max. And I've only been using this platform for about um, two months, I'd say. So that being said, for a person like me that that wants to integrate their entire life onto Notion, definitely the $4 a month is well worth it because with the $4 a month you get unlimited. I just don't know about collaborating and sharing on there. Um, so that's one con. Another con is in comparison to Evernote, um, there's no web clipper and email to note feature, which I used a lot. I personally use a lot in Evernote. I love Evernote's business card and document reader that comes with the premium version. Um, I don't think Notion has anything like that. And um, the to-do list in Notion is a very basic task manager. Um, it's definitely not as robust as Todoist where you can set due dates, recurring tasks, and, and automatically categorize your task based on project, date, that type of thing, just as you type. It's not as intuitive. Um, so if you are just looking for a basic to-do list, something like this, where you can just cross things off as you need, you don't need all the bells and whistles that Todoist has, um, then this will work for you. But personally, I'm so used to have, having that robust integration that personally for me, Todoist is still something that I need. Ultimately, I really don't think there is one perfect platform for me just yet. I'm going to be trying some others and I'll keep you guys updated on those. But as of right now, I am still going to stick with my tried and true Evernote and Todoist just because Notion hits almost every check mark, except there are still a few things that I I feel like I need to explore so I'm not going to be upgrading to unlimited anytime soon but um, I'll definitely keep playing with it and seeing how this works um, and kind of fill you in with a more in-depth review in the future so I'm not I'm not sure if notion is actually something that I'm going to switch over to permanently I've invested a lot of time into making Evernote and Todoist really work for me and I'm not sure I'm ready to give that up and start over in a platform like notion yet but I'm still gonna keep giving it a try because it does take some time you've got to create these workflow systems within these apps because they're so open-ended. There's so many possibilities to making it work for your lifestyle. So I do have to give it a chance. I do have to give it some more time and I'll make sure to update you guys and let you know where I'm at and whether I'm gonna switch. I am, like I said, going to be trying other platforms. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I also have a comparison video coming for some digital planner apps that I'm going to be reviewing. So I'm really excited to kind of expand my channel, give you guys more content, and hopefully it will be useful to you. In the meantime, you can always check out my blog for more content about productivity, goal setting, and the entrepreneur life. That is at justkissa.com, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter um, at justkissa. Till the next one, I wish you lots of success and blessings from one entrepreneur to another. Bye.